Welcome to the Counselor tutorial for utilizing business report generators. We'll begin by clicking on business in the top menu bar. And then as you can see from this list, there are a whole wide range of different uh, report generator options. Uh, appointment report generating options, device, stock, invoice, line items, to-do lists, payments, claims, and policies. So we're going to go ahead and just grab one here. We'll say the line item reporting. Now, it's important to note that uh, Counselor Course attempts to provide um, easy to access, easy to interpret data in different ways. So for example, back in the dashboard, there are a lot of dashboard widgets dedicated to very specific purposes. Hopefully you can get your data, see what you need all in real time very quickly uh, and take the next step. For example, if you need to reach out to patients or, or determine where the source of an issue may be, uh, you can see that information and take action. Counselor also has summary reports such as the hearing aid sales summary, hearing aid sales detail, total sales, AR, appointment lifecycle summary, commission tracker, right? These are all built to, uh, to give you an opportunity to see very specific data um, in a very specific way, right? With a lot of filtering tools within them. With all that said, we know there are going to be times when you'll have uh, data needs that counselor may not be directly addressing through the dashboard widgets or through those summary reports. That is why the line item report generator in this example, or any of these report generators, really uh, we put those in place for that specific purpose. The idea behind these report generators is basically you have access to essentially your full data set for that topic. So if you look here, for example, once again, at the line item report, report generator, and then we scroll over here, what you'll see is a lot of data, right? These are all the products and services uh, that have been entered into invoices and all the related details. Right, so a lot of data points that you can work off of. And as you can see at the top of all these, they can be filtered, they can be manipulated so you can see the data you need, okay? Um, so what I thought I'd do here is show you, you know, how you can, you can filter in these dashboard widgets, I'm um, sorry, in the uh, report generators, as well as how you can set up um, templates so that later on you can pop back in here and run that same report without having to go through necessarily all those steps. In addition, I'll show you how you can make those uh, reports run automatically on a scheduled basis. Okay, so let's just start here. Um, obviously, we can look at the, uh, the different columns and do any sorting that we want. So if we say, hey, okay, we're currently sorting for the year, maybe we want to open this up all time, in which case we click on this little filter option. In this case, we'll select no filter. That will then remove the dates uh, and open this up. So if this is your clinic, the line and report generator, for example, tends to have a lot of data. So it may take a moment to load. In this case, it loaded a little over 12,000 uh, records um, in that amount of time. So there's a lot of data it's churning through. Now, I should mention, by the way, that when you open these report generators, you are looking at a single clinic. You can bounce between clinics, of course, uh, but you are looking at that individual location. I will show you in a bit how you can run reports that will consolidate um, the data across clinics. Um, but so let's say, for example, you wanted to do a search and you just want to see um, line item types that are specific to, let's just say battery, because that's right there on top of the list. Um, I was going to mention hearing aid, but there are tools, as I mentioned, like the hearing aid sales summary that will let you search on hearing aid. So um, once again, you can pick whatever you like, but let's go ahead and say battery. In this case, we're going to say contains. There are other things you could say does not contain. Maybe you want to look for everything but battery sales. Um, in this case, we'll say contain. So it's going to look out all over time. Now, in this case, it's including both battery and battery club. You can decide whether you wish to, you know, um, um, uh, refine that further or not. That's totally up to you. But we can see, once again, all the data related to the sales, in this case, where the type was battery. Okay. Um, of course, you can do other things regarding, you know, setting up different filters. Uh, I should mention that the counselor support team is very happy to help you determine what may be the best filters for you. So uh, before you uh, spend a lot of time kind of going through this and trying to uh, figure out how to get the exact right report, I would encourage you to reach out to the counselor support team and you can actually tell us your end point. Like what's the data that you wish to see at the end, right? And what do you wanna do with that data? And that will help us work backward and say, okay, in your case, there's actually a dashboard widget that does that, or perhaps one of the patient you know, search features uh, or visit search feature can do that, or one of the business uh, summary reports can assist with that, right? So there may be things already in place that will do what you need, right? Um, but if we, if we determine, hey, this is a little bit different, the business report generator is the best place for you to go, we then can direct you down that path.
okay? Um, and as part of that, we can give you advice on the different types of filters. We also can assist you with saying, hey, do you want to refine this further, right? Do you want to have maybe only certain columns display? As we can see there, there's a lot of data points, a lot of columns, and you might say, hey, I really only care about 10 of these, right? So you can remove the ones that you don't like, or you can remove a whole section, um, or maybe just add one back in from that section. Um, you can decide what displays and wasn't, what doesn't display. So for example, if I get rid of all these and then I go ahead and close this, what we'll notice, it refreshes the screen and then the amount of data points, while still lengthy in this case, uh, decreased by about half, right? And so you could refine that further if you needed through the advanced settings area. Um, ultimately, if you uh, feel like you, okay, I've got a report that I want to keep, you can always just uh, give it a name right? Typically that's going to be around the, the topic. So I'll, just for uh, consistency here, I'll call this battery and then we'll click save. And what that did is it just saved that template, right? So the filters I had in place will stay in place, right? Um, and then later you can see that from your list of options. So you can jump back in here later, jump to a different report, and then let's go back to battery, for example, right? So I'll rerun that same report with those specific uh, filters in place. All right, let's go back to the advanced setting here. Uh, once you have a template in place, you say, okay, great, I really like how this looks, and now I want this to run routinely. You'd go ahead and click on the Schedule tab, uh, and then you can decide the frequency at which you wish it to run. Do you want this to run daily, weekly, monthly, right, uh, 1st or 15th, or yearly, January 1st, January 15th, right? Um, and it will run at the time at which you save the report. So, for example, um, if you want this to run, uh, well, it basically says right here, right, run every Sunday at the time the report was saved. So if you run it, wanted to run it at a specific time, I recommend that you go through these steps at that time of day, okay? Um, now it's important to note that when I'm saying these will run, what'll happen is it will run the report and then deliver the uh, Excel spreadsheet to you in the report pickup area in accounts. And I'll show you where that is in just a moment, okay? Now, beyond just running this report, you can specify this further. You can say, hey, run this report for all clinics, right? Or just specific clinics. Maybe I just want to run this for two of the three clinics, right? Totally up to you. You can decide. Uh, then who's going to receive this? You can select one or multiple people on staff, right? Simply just check off who it is. And then they will receive that spreadsheet in their report pickup area. So it won't go to the full staff, unless of course you select everyone, which would be unusual. You just pick the people that are specifically gonna be involved with this process. So in this case, we'll just leave this here as Kate. Now in addition, you can customize this. So you could say, hey, um, when the spreadsheet is created, uh, you uh, create a report name um, that is the same as the file name, or I'm sorry, create the file name with the report name. So here I have this set up as battery, right? So that means that the Excel spreadsheet that'll be created will have the name of battery, right? So uh, you may have more of a descriptive name than that, but it does make it a little easier when you look at the spreadsheet to know what's in there, particularly if you have multiple reports running uh, at any given time. Maybe you're doing a device, um, uh, uh, using this to create a report from the device report generator, as well as the claims and the line items. And so it allows you to pop in and know which one is which. So you can easily customize that on the fly. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click close. That will then um, lock that in. So in fact, if we look back here, we can uh, see you know, the settings that are in place, okay? Of course, if you make any changes to this template, go ahead and just make sure and click save you know, to lock in those changes. Uh, also, if you find that you no longer need a specific type, right? You can always click, you can select that one. Let's just grab one here, for example, and then uh, you go ahead and delete that right, if you find that it's no longer relevant for you, okay, and that gets rid of it from the list, all right. Now, as I mentioned, it'll run based on your schedule, right, so uh, you can go ahead and then uh, you'll get an email letting you know when it has run, and then you can jump into the report pickup area, and you can see the action, see and download the actual spreadsheet that was created as part of that effort, okay. So that's uh, creating your templates and running those reports on a routine basis. Now, within the uh, um, business report generator itself, I should note, of course, there's a fair amount of fl uh, functionality. So, of course, you can click on any one of these items and it will take you directly into the invoice, okay? Uh, you also have the ability, and this is very commonly used, is to open the records in a new window. So you've run uh, a search, you've filtered the way you want, you've got the list you want, 
but now you want to investigate further, but you want to keep this original uh, list in place, right? So then you just go ahead and check here, and then when you select, uh, let's just go ahead and click here. Uh, you can't see this, but it opened as a new tab in my screen. So now I've got that uh, invoice open. I can see the details, and then I can bounce right back to that uh, line and report generator to see those same details. Okay. There's also tools down here for navigating, right? So you can jump between the different pages. In this case, there are quite a few pages. Uh, you can see the total number of records here in the bottom uh, right-hand corner. Uh, there's also an option here for including deleted invoices. Now, this is specific to just a couple of the uh, dashboard widgets. But if you're checking for potentially any malfeasance, this is a way to say, hey, show me anything that's been deleted, right? It'll, it'll rerun that search and then it'll include any deleted invoices as well. So you may not want that routinely, but maybe you're doing some checks. You could certainly add that at any point. Now, once you've completed with your filtering and any cleanup that you wanna do, uh, there's a lot of options here from the actions menu. So of course you could download this spreadsheet. Um, you could download this for all clinics, right? And once again, if you do the download spreadsheet for all clinics, that will be delivered to you in the report pickup because it does take a little bit of processing power to run these reports um, because there's gonna be a lot of data that's pulling from different areas. Uh, so it will just give you a message that basically the re your request has been submitted and uh, you'll be notified when the um, report is ready for pickup. And typically that's pretty quickly within a matter of minutes. Um, of course, you know, if you maybe identified a specific group of patients uh, through this and you wanna reach out to them, that could be, let's say, for example, through the policy report generator. Maybe you want to find all patients that have Blue Cross Blue Shield because you want to reach out to them because maybe you're no longer uh, uh, participating with that program or something. You know, some reason you want to reach out to patients for a very specific reason. You know, uh, but point being is you can use the list. You could download envelopes, labels, letters, postcards, or you, of course, could send emails directly from here as well. So there's a lot of tools available. Um, to help you find the specific data set that you need to help you, of course, refine that further uh, and then take the next step regarding reaching out to patients or having the reports delivered to you on a routine basis uh, via the report pickup area. As I mentioned before, if you have any questions about how to get the specific data that you need, please reach out to the counselor support team. We'd be very happy to address your questions. So uh, give us a call, email us, live chat us. We are always happy to help. Thank you very much for joining us for the counselor tutorial for managing your business report generators.